Hey guys, it's Nicholas from Apple Tech Geeks, and today I'm going to be showing you iOS 7 Beta 4. Yes, Beta 4 is the latest version of iOS 7 that has been released to Apple developers. And I, today, am going to be showing you a full rundown of iOS 7. Now, I'll be making more videos um, for like the settings, stuff like that, more in depth. But today, I'm going through a full rundown of it. So, how I'm going to be doing this is, I'm going to be recording my computer screen. And I'm going to be using my iPhone from here. And I'm going to use something called AirPlay. Which basically sets up your Mac, MacBook, whatever you're using, even a Windows computer, as like an Apple TV. And then you can send your phone screen to your Mac or Windows computer and then shows the screen on the computer. Now hopefully the internet won't be too laggy so let's get started. So I'm just going to log in to my phone, okay, set up AirPlay and mirroring on. So now it's going to start up AirPlay and there we go. So welcome to iOS 7. The parallax effect doesn't seem to be working with a uh, with a mirroring enabled. So here is pretty much your basic screen. Um, your basic home menu. Uh, I've changed a few things, like I've added in Weather Live. Great app, I recommend it. Um, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you each of the things. So let's start off first with the new thing, new um, something I like in iOS 7, which is the folders. So I'm going to open up my Apple Apps folder. Now, um, so one thing I like is it's not a drop-down menu since iOS 7 has taken away most of the real life effects to the apps and stuff so it now has just a square and it has multi-page support which I really think Apple should have done ages ago but it's about time that they finally done it okay so next let's get in to some different apps so let's start with messages so yeah this is my uh, this is my friend I was texting him before now the keyboards should be see-through kinda clearish you can faintly see it yeah there you go now you can see so that that's basically messages there's not much else to it um, oh I forgot one thing if you pull to the side on the messages it now shows you new um, it shows you what time the messages were sent from my device or my friend's iPhone. So that's pretty impressive. So now, let's go into calendar. Now, I barely put anything in my calendar. But all the events show up as these gray dots underneath the days. So that's something cool. Um, next we'll go to, I'm skipping photos because that's personal, but let's do camera. Now I don't know if this is going to work, but see, the camera is pretty cool. Um, instead of the basic blue, it's now yellow. Video is still full screen. Now a new feature is square mode, which for all the Instagram users this is very helpful because you can now finally have a square photo without using Instagram's awful camera no offense to Instagram um, another new effect is, um, is these shades it's not like um, iPads photo booth or Max photo booth but it is a step up so you got your basic effects to the photos so do like that, and uh, that's pretty much it 
for camera. Uh, next, let's go to videos. I don't have any videos except for Gundam Style. And then I have two movies. Um, so, nothing much in videos, nothing different. Maps is got has gotten a lot better. Um, uh, this is the share menu, which AirDrop, if anyone else had iOS 7 nearby me. Um, basic sharing options, add bookmarks, stuff like that. It's pretty much all the same, just different colors. Weather, very impressive. I don't use Apple Weather, so, but impressive. So here's New York. See, it's animated, which I like. Apple finally did that. Singapore, different locations, North Brunswick, I know I have North Brunswick twice, but okay. Passbook, same thing, see-through background now. Notes, Notes, I don't have any notes, so. Reminders, clock. The clock actually is animated, which I like. Now, if you look real closely on the clock icon, you can tell that's moving, which is very impressive. Stock, same thing, we don't need to see that. New stand is a little different. Um, it's now its own app, unlike just a folder. Uh, iTunes and App Store, same thing. Game Center, I'll I'll do that in a separate video. Settings, I'll also do in a separate video because there are a lot of settings in iOS 7. Uh, voice memos, contacts, calcul calculator, compass. I'm going to show you compass because there is something really cool in compass. So let me just calibrate it. Okay. So now, that's that. Okay. This is something new, which is a level, which I find really impressive. Apple finally put in a level into a iPhone, so it's native. Um, you can lock position. There's also, if you tilt it, there's also flat surface, as well as height with and flat surface. So that's Compass. They should really divide it into two apps, but again, this is still a very early beta. Mail, same thing. It's just different colors. Um, music, let me show you iTunes Radio for now. Um, Well, that's funny. iTunes Radio seemed to have disappeared. Huh. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah. While we're doing that, um, if you swipe down on the screen, it shows Spotlight Search. Oh, it seems to have uh, disappeared. That's weird. Well, anyway, um, now a thing that seems to be an issue is the keyboard is still the same for iOS 6 in iOS 6 apps. So that's not going to be fixed until either Apple pushes it or the developer updates their apps. So, let's see. There is 
Oh, hell no. Where is iTunes? Video. iOS 7 Beta 4. No one knows where it went. I, it's not there anymore. Maybe inside iTunes. I don't think so, but. No. I don't know where it went. But, uh, oh well. Just going to show you iTunes Radio, but. Seemed to have disappeared, so. I don't know, it's gone. It's gone for right now. So, yeah, it's not a separate app either. So, it's gone. Um, that's pretty much it for iOS 7. Um, not much else on there. Uh, besides the fact that it's completely redesigned. Oh, notification center. Let's do notification center. So here's the today view. So it says the weather, calendar events, reminders, stock, and what you have tomorrow. All shows everything that you've gotten so far. And mist is pretty much the same thing. Still the same to clear notifications. And what's new in iOS 7 beta 4 is if you swipe across the screen it switches through so and there's not much else so uh... that's pretty much it for this video i'll be making a few more i'll be making plenty new more videos uh... sorry we've been so quiet recently we've uh... i've summer so i've been doing a whole lot of stuff so thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more iOS 7 videos. So that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching.